veterans tend to not always like to talk about what they've done. They're kind of World War II veterans in particular. What is it that you did with this particular group of people who are doing particularly sensitive things to get them to talk about their experience? Because it seems like you went to a certain level of even having them stay at your house and kind of become part of the family. <laughs> For me, it's all been about gaining trust. And uh, the OSS veterans of World War II were probably the most secretive. Of I've interviewed over 4,000 or more veterans from World War II. And uh, the OSS veterans were exceptional and unique. But it was all about gaining trust. And it was all small footholds and steps, one person at a time. And then they would recommend somebody else to them. And, or to me, I should say, and one thing kind of led to another it was sedimentary, and I, uh, I gained their trust to, to, to help tell their story, and it's similar to um, the trust that I gained with the Marines that I was in, with, in Fallujah, too, and then the Marines that I met after I came home from Fallujah, from George Company in Korea, it, it became, it was a trust issue, and then you trust individuals, but you also have to look at the, the documentary record and see what, what's out there too from that spe standpoint and then sort of balance the two and put this whole, this mosaic, which is like, you know, it begins as a thousand, ten thousand 10,000 pieces that are scattered on the floor and then you have to put the thing together into a, the mosaic that it once was and it, it's challenging, it's not easy. But for me, it's never been work, I've been, having fun for 15 years. <laughs>